is the 27th of January, 2015. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Um, cleaning out a press we're going to use. It's um, cleaning out spent vanilla beans right now. We've been running those. Um, this is a perforated screen with holes 33,000. We're going to try the cassava in that. We have run uh, shrimp, I see shrimp uh, waste uh, earlier today. Uh, the beans we just ran, here's some of the, the pressed liquor from the vanilla beans and the pressed cake. Uh, one that was interesting, we ran kelp, came in uh, from Iceland. And we had uh, kelp from, from Iceland here today. And uh, here's our uh, cassava from uh, Nicaragua. And uh, next week we're going to be running this material. It is called Swarp. It's metal shavings, but extremely fine, almost spongy. Normally they have cooling oil in them. This has a lot of water. Uh, it's a high torque application. We'll switch to a high torque press. We also have some crumb rubber coming in uh, with the uh, solvent, so it's going to require an explosion proof press. We're going to do that the day after tomorrow. Anyway, this is the last test uh, today. That's our boiler in the background. We were running uh, steam injection on the uh, shrimp. Here's our uh, cassava. We took it out of the pail and put it in it so we could stir it up. And now we're running it across just the screen from a side hill screen. Uh, this one was an old 2 old screen. Okay, the flow is that direction. It came out of stock. And we're draining off the free liquid to make something thicker for the screw press. Uh, we think we'll have a much better chance of the press working by doing this. We're scooping the material in, and that's what we're going to put in the screw press. Okay, this seems to have worked. Uh, that is, we started with five gallons. That is, we had five gallons on the seven gallon pail, and we probably got um, less than three gallons there. So we knocked out quite a bit of uh, free water. You can dripping off the screen. Okay, feeding material. You can see the tops of the flights of the screw there. Fresh liquor coming through pretty good. We hold this in by hand. We're afraid to put air pressure onto it. Um, if I do put air pressure onto it, even light, we'll see if we can make any cake. If it gets thick enough to make a cake. The screen is spitting. You see it's spitting occasionally. That's a sign that the hole is blinded over on a particle and the screws come around and wipe it clear to let water flow out momentarily until it's blocked again. It's not good. It shows we need a tighter screw to screen clearance. Uh, screw to screen clearance is pretty tight on this press. Uh, we have not made any cake. Uh, I'm going to try setting a manual opening on this cone. Okay. This is if I had used a jacking bolt to set this cone open, uh, about a, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, we'll uh, run some sample this way, uh, because this may be the best we can do. Now we didn't get a whole lot of sample here. We've got uh, about small, uh, yeah, about three bags we can send off uh, uh, to the lab and a couple of bottles of press liquor for the lab um, and that's all we got out of our sample um, looking around here well there's a shredder but what you see are a lot of screw presses um, we are in the area of the pilot plant where whenever a rental press comes back um, we just stack them up there's fiber filters rotary drum screen screw press screw press screw presses uh, these are all uh, machines out of the rental fleet. Uh, down here is uh, uh, the uh, screw manufacturing department. And um, I think we're into the 
second shift already. But um, anyway, that's a snapshot of uh, Vincent Corporation.